Good day, and welcome back to Daily Devotions. Our daily devotion for today, Friday, June the 4th, comes to us once again from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 3, verses 20 to 35. And the crowd came together again, so that they could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, He has gone out of his mind. And the scribes came down from Jerusalem, said, He has Beelzebul. And by the ruler of the demons, he casts out demons. And he called them to him and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. But his end has come. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man. Then, indeed, the house can be plundered. Truly, I tell you, people will be forgiven for their sins and whatever blasphemies they, they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit can never have forgiveness but is guilty of an eternal sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. Then his mother and his brothers came, and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. And he replied, Who are my mother? And my brothers. And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. While we might be the divided kingdom or house, we are certainly the plunder in the strong man's house. The taunting wills that strive against God's will would claim us as their property. In Jesus, God ties up that strong man, that evil in the world, and saves us from everything that would keep us bound in the house of slavery and death. In doing this, God claims us, but not as property. In Jesus, God claims us as family. Let us pray. Heavenly Brother, you modeled following God's will for us. Send us your spirit so that we might be your brother and sister and mother. And do God's will. Amen. Grace and peace be with you today and every day. And I hope you have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you back here on Monday. Stay well.